Well, it all started when we were over at a space that used to be known as uh, 210 Studios. And um, we were about to get kicked out of there, and so we, but we really wanted to continue having a community-centered art space. Um, so we had a benefit show, and it was pretty much like we were selling artwork for like twenty dollars, and, and and a lot of people pitched in, and it was a great turnout. And so um, we had enough money to go toward a new space, and so we spent the next three months. Um, you know, kind of exploring our options and, and, and looking for um, something that we would be comfortable with. And um, so eventually we found this space and, and it worked out perfectly to our needs. And um, so we rented out the space, we painted the walls. Um, we had a, our opening show probably about three weeks ago and um, it was a great success. success um, I think around 300 people showed up and so we got really excited and and so our next show which was this past Saturday we had a call for entries and it was juried by um, art, the artist and professor at Texas State Tommy Fitzpatrick. We, we received some money from the call for entries and our opening night for that show was was a really great su success as well and um, so far there hasn't been a theme um, like this show that's up right now was juried by Tommy Fitzpatrick, so we made it available to everything. And he basically went through all the entries and picked what he wanted in the show. And it worked out really well. Yeah, I think we had 130 pieces of art submitted and, and he narrowed it down to I think 25 okay. is the number of artworks that are in here right now. You know, really, we want to be a community-based um, art space. We, we want to benefit the community, and, and um, that's something that San Marcos doesn't really have right now is, is something that people can look forward to having their work shown in. And I think, well, I know that we're only the only contemporary art space in San Marcos right now, and you know, yeah. re really we just want to, um, to build a contemporary art community in San Marcos because we, we have all the, you know we, we have a great art school and um, we're right in between Austin and San Antonio and you know eventually we would like to be the bridge between those two cities you know and um, you know, we're, we're really excited about the whole I thing. I think eventually so Austin and San Antonio are all going to want to come to San Marcos and be in our art scene. We'll be the new Marfa. Professors have been really supportive and, and they're really excited about what we're doing here. Um, for the most part, it's been just us. Um, you know, they're, they're not really that involved. If, if we have questions, we go to ask, ask them, but um, the majority of it has really been us figuring things out on, out on our own. One thing is that Unfortunately, schools don't really teach the business aspect of being an artist, which, um, you know, in my mind, 50% of it is making good work, and the other half is knowing how to present yourself and put yourself out there, and, and um, you know, so when people graduate with an art degree, <laughs> they don't really know what to do or how to go about becoming an artist, and so this has been really great for us to you know learn learn a different aspect of of being an artist the knowledge that we're gaining here is really invaluable to our future